Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. And if you're new, welcome. Our returning subscribers, you're all welcome as well. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Uh, please keep subscribing. Please continue motivating us by suggesting stuff for us to react to and um keep liking and sharing our content so that other people can see what we put out there as well um i hope you guys are doing all right so today i'm going to be reacting to angry boy got good by dr zaki naik as he kept on interjecting dr zaki naik's reply so without wasting time let's get into the video good evening everyone and good evening dr nayak today I am a human speaking on behalf of humanity. Now, Dr. Nayak, since you were... Can we have your name, please? Yeah, I am Clearly. Chirag. And please don't ask my religion. Dr. Nayak, since you were born, maybe in a Muslim family, you were prescribed with your religion. Now, that is why today you are endorsing it, maybe. If you would have been born in a Hindu family, it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on Hinduism. This, I feel, is an extreme case of ethnocentrism, wherein you feel your religion, culture, beliefs and ideas are supreme. That is why you said that Sikhism or Arya Samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too. According to me, we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here. Any comments or oh, justification, sir? Very good question. He says that because I was born in a Muslim family, that's the reason I'm endorsing Islam. Maybe if I was born in a Hindu family, I would be endorsing Hinduism and I'm supporting Arya Samaj and Sikhism because it matches my view and I'm juggling around. I should rather speak about broader aspect. Very good question. Yes. Brother, I agree with you. Till the age of 19, I was a Muslim only because my father was a Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now I'm a Muslim by choice. And believe me, if you can point out any other religion to me better than Islam, I am ready to accept that religion today. Today. Sir, I am endorsing the religion of humanity. Brother, I'll come to it. Yeah. I'll come to it. Yeah. I'm telling anyone, prove to me logically, scientifically, any other religion better than Islam, I am ready to accept it. You're telling, you're talking about humanity. Who wrote this religion, humanity? Mahatma Gandhi? Who wrote it? You know, a Muslim cannot be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. That no. every religion says, every brother, religion says... Brother, let me complete my answer. Yes, sir. Are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views? I would like to have a healthy discussion and reach brother, to a logical conclusion. This is not a debate session. Not at all. I never said... So listen to my answer. After my answer, you can give your comment. Okay, please. Let me finish my answer. Keep on interjecting. That means you listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going, Mahabharata is going in your mind. How will you listen? When Please you, carry on. When you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please carry on. Everything writing down, coming, asking question. I now said... I am giving yeah. the reply. Listen. This yeah, is my reply. I am listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. Please justify. Tell me your answer. If you listen to my answer, you'll understand. Otherwise, all these more than 100,000 people will understand, yet you'll have the same question. I'm a medical doctor. A person can't concentrate on two different things. Listen to the answer. After the answer is over, no problem. So what you have to realize, you're talking about humanity. First you said, don't ask my religion. Then you're saying, I'm endorsing humanity. First of all, you're ashamed to identify your view. Then you're talking about humanity. I'm asking the question, who wrote this book called Humanity? Is there any book? Is there any guidelines of humanity? I'm telling you, a Muslim 
cannot be a Muslim until he's a good human being. Every religion doesn't say that. I'm sorry to say that. You have not studied the other religions. I can give a talk. I can give you quotations from the Vedas, quotations from Hindu scriptures, quotations from the Bible, which goes against humanity. I am not here to criticize any religion. If you have not studied any religion, please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of. Quran says, Fas'alu ahal zikri in kuntum la ta'alamun. Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43, Surah Ambiya chapter 21 verse number 7. You are not a student of comparative religion, so please don't make comments without knowing. I can give you quotations from the Bible against humanity. I challenge you to point out a single verse of the Quran, a single teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is against humanity. So don't tell me every religion says that. Sorry, your knowledge is very weak. What I'm trying to tell you, humanity means, okay, you're in standard two. I'm talking about not only passing school, not only graduation, you have to become postgraduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he's a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching, and you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. No, doctor is cutting up my tummy. He's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three, or doing post-graduation, I would prefer post-graduation. Why only standard two and three? Humanity is good, but Islam is far superior than that. Regarding a question, I am endorsing Islam because I was born in a Muslim family. I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I have studied most of the major religions. And I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the dina in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know, out of more than 30 scholars that we have, from different parts of the world. More than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that? Out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I'm that asking maybe... you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, four are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan, and more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s, and Allah gave them hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. I really feel like whatever he believes in or if he doesn't believe in anything he should have stated where he stands in life at least we should be proud but again sometimes we feel like it's no one's business where I stand when it comes to um, religion uh, if that's how he was looking at it then that I understand um, Dr. Zakir's answer was okay I mean I agree with him if he's going to endorse Islam and say 
and say they're quite good at what they do because I've heard stories that they're very helpful than other religions. Um, they're close together. It's like they've created their own community where they are able to help each other succeed in life or just make it in life. I don't know how to put it, but otherwise they're just there for each other. If you look at other religions, I'm not sure about other religions, but from what I've heard, Islam is the closest thing to what people, someone would call maybe Ubuntu. Also, that aside, I agree with what Dr. Zaki Naik was saying about that, but I also agree with what this guy was saying, humanity. Why can't it just be humanity at the end of the day? Do you understand? Because humanity means may mean we forget all religions but just come together and do our thing together help each other without looking at ah she's from this religion ah she's from this tribe she's from this place do you understand that's what humanity is all about humanity sees breaks all these barriers all these blockades that may be in the way i understand that as well otherwise uh to find the right path in life you have to tests test you can't know this is your favorite food if you haven't tested all these other foods you have to eat this cheese eat that or drink that orange juice test different kinds of foods for you to actually say this is nice so i always say for people to actually discover what they like you have when it comes to religion you actually have to study them all to figure out which one speaks to your soul more i hope that makes sense let me know what you guys think there's something you have to say comment below start the conversation i'll be more than glad to respond if there's something you want me to react to drop the link down below or the name of the reaction video and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video